I know you're gonna dig this. I don't understand what's going on. Hey guys, happy Saturday. This is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. It's not that hot, but it's not exactly cool either today. So it's Saturday, like I said, and it's spring, so it's time to stop freshening up things. So I just roughed up the kitchen table here. In fact, Mark came home last night and he said, Why is the table all white looking? <laughs> Why does it have this haze on it? Because I took a rough um, scrubby sponge and roughed up all of the, um, the surface so that it would take some more polyurethane. And you have to do that. Otherwise, if your table's too smooth when you put on the polyurethane, it's not going to stick. So you got to give it something to grab onto. So I'm going to do that. And then Sean has been begging me for some popcorn. So I've got my popcorn over here. I'm going to make him some fresh popcorn. And then, uh, I guess, do the rest of the stuff i got to do. Got to do more cleaning, catch up on that, some laundry. Exciting stuff, I know, but... Uh, Mark and I are going to be going shopping in a little while because we're redoing our closet, getting it organized. I feel very good because I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm organizing stuff. You just feel better when you can see everything that you have and it's more in order and you guys know what I'm talking about. It just feels better. So we're getting that done today. And uh, we'll have the live show tonight, of course, with a Shiriti shopping date. Sean's coming along with because the girls are going out tonight. So <sighs> it's gonna it's gonna be a fun night. I'll give you that much. Minnie, you having a play date with Homer? Homer, don't go on that shelf. It's not fixed yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. Please do not go on that shelf. Yeah. That would end in tragedy. Yeah. Hi. How are you? How are you? Is your friend here, Minnie? You're having a play date. Interspecies play date. Oh, I don't know. Minnie's pretty jealous. Maybe you shouldn't sit on my lap, Holmes. She still gets jealous. <laughs> oh, they're rubbing heads together. Well, Homer's rubbing on Lucy anyway, but the tail's wagging, so Lucy's cleaning Homer's ears. That's good. So, all right, I'll clean your eye. <laughs> yes, that's no. nice. Don't clean his, his uh, butt, Lucy. Come on. Lulu. That means keep your nose out of other people's business. <laughs> and cats, too. Says, don't clean my butt. I can do that. Oh, Yeah. Alright, why are you using the computer to rub your head on when you have Lucy right there? What do you think, Lou? <laughs> She's being so good. You're being so good sharing your play space with Homer. Good girl, Lucy. Yeah, well, it is her nap time. Good girl, Lulu. Lay down. Lay down. Go ahead. Good girl. Good girl. Homer says, That's how I like it. <laughs> what a good girl. Aw. Yeah, I'm sure he's enjoying the sun. Of course he is. He love it. He let a son. Good boy, homie. Alright, so American Pharaoh finally pulled it out. Hey, genius. So what happened here? Wow. It was so weird. We just got into the car and uh, it just so happened to be the start of the race. They were all getting in the gate in Belmont. I, want, I definitely wanted to see this. I forgot all about it. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to watch it uh, oh, yeah. on the news over and over and over or on YouTube. But congratulations to American Pharaoh. No, no, the 
there hasn't been a Triple Crown winner. Oh, okay. In, uh, 37 years. Alright then. I understand now. <laughs> Alright, well, American Pharaoh's got his history. History. Now we're going to go on a shopping date. And Sean's with us. Hi, Sean. You having a good day? He is. Alright, that's exciting. Yeah, I'm not even a horse racing guy. I'm not a horse racing person either, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. Oh my! We didn't film in the store, but we got something special. You ready for this? Are oh, you all ready for this? Tradition. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Uh, go for it. Toasted almond. Uh, hmm. Tradition. Tradition. <laughs> nice. So Mark got his Talenti and as a little treat. Oh my God! With a baby spoon from our little babies. Gerber spoon. Oh. Oh, it's so soft. Sean, <laughs> come here. Mm. Sean was kind of a butt at the store. He insisted on getting Captain Crunchberries. He wasn't that bad. He kept saying loudly. What is unhealthy? <laughs> right? Yeah, he did. Uh-huh. It was getting on my nerves after a while. How's your Talenti? Mm. It's got those little crunchy toasted almond things. Pralines? I don't know, though. Is it praline? I don't know. It's probably sugar almonds. Could be. Well, I hope you enjoy. You deserved it. You almonds, worked so hard today. Brown sugar. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Go you. I really do try to cut out sugar. I know so. you do. You you do. This is just an occasional treat. We hardly ever buy ice cream anymore. True. I can't remember the last time we bought ice cream. It had to been months. So enjoy. Thank you. Actually, I think it's about four months yeah, the last time. Right yeah, because it's been four months since I went vegan. So I don't think we bought it since I've gone vegan. Mm. So, drink this. you enjoy. I'll take you guys with me through this haul. <laughs> we got some dog meat chicken. Uh, we got some Portuguese rolls marked down to $1.74 because we're having what? Breakfast dinner tonight! But we're not having those. We're having this beautiful uh, whole wheat loaf tonight for, di for breakfast dinner. Some popcorn that was a dollar sixty nine, marked down from three forty nine. It was on sale. It wasn't exactly marked down. The Ronzoni pasta was on sale for eighty eight cents, and not just the regular Ronzoni pasta, the whole grain one. So we got some uh, whole wheat, and we also got some Garden Delight. This was quite a find. <laughs> the Hunt's pasta sauce was only sixty five cents, and it was just as good slash bad as the Kalana at 88 cents, so there's a bargain. <laughs> the beans were on sale, so we got some black beans, we got some French cut green beans, those were like 50 something a can. <sighs> I think the beans were five for four dollars. So Mark got his Italian bread that only has like four ingredients that he loves so much. Got some glass cleaner. This is just the cleaning section here. Some uh, Lysol wipes because I like to use those in the bathroom because I don't want to use like a rag or whatever that you got to wash out again. And paper towels, they're okay, but I really, I really like the Lysol wipes for the bathroom. Pretty self-explanatory to clean the bathroom. Some peaches, uh, really small and not really impressive, but only 97 cents a pound. Uh, kind of like from our tree. <laughs> I hope they're good. They're not ripe yet. It's going to be a couple days. Some parchment paper, because I've been using this instead of oil lately. So, hope that works out. It should. I've been using it already. Some McCain craft beer battered potatoes. They didn't have this last time and they restocked and it was on sale for $1.99. Not as good as $1.49, but $1.99 is pretty good. Usually those are like at least $3 each, so 
Sean's Crunch Berries. I got some plain old uh, shredded wheat without the sugar on it. Because I sometimes you're just in the mood for like cardboard, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just want to eat something that it doesn't taste decadent or anything. It just tastes regular. Sometimes you just want to eat something like cardboard. The um, veggies were on sale for 99 so I got a brown rice, some peas, um, some mixed veggies, some tofu, some baby bella mushrooms because I'm hoping to do some sort of a pasta and mushroom dish for tomorrow to bring over to Granny's house. You guys are going to be in for a surprise. You don't want to miss tomorrow's vlog. I'm not even going to say anything. Got some all-natural peanut butter. Got some pickles. Some olives. Love the olives. By the way, guys, I don't know if you realize this or not. Avi avian flu? Is that what it's called? Yes. It's rampant. So they're having to, unfortunately, put down a lot of chickens. Which means the price of eggs, and I'm guessing chicken, are going to be going up. So, if you're so inclined, take note. Maybe stock up. We got some eggs. Not that I eat them, but for whoever wants eggs in the house. Usually it's just Maddie. Um, Mark doesn't really hardly ever eat eggs anymore. I think t tonight is uh, yeah, the first night. time in a while since you've had eggs. Yeah, so. it has been. I used to eat eggs three or four times a week. I know. Now he hasn't had them for a while, so he's going to have them tonight. Uh, this was marked down, well, it was on sale for $2.99. That's pretty much the usual price at Target, but they don't always have the 25-calorie one that I really like. And I really do prefer the cashew milk over the almond. It just, it tastes creamier. I like it. That's to bring to Granny's house tomorrow. Woo, this was our car drink tonight. Some not-too-sweet honey green tea. This was very good. Some gum. And is that it? I think that's it. So that's the haul. Hey, Lucy, how was your dinner? It was really good, Mom. <laughs> All right, so you're having breakfast dinner. So awesome. We got that beautiful whole wheat uh, bread, multigrain. Mark's having some turkey sausage. Well, Mark and Sean are having turkey sausage with a hash brown omelet with five cheese Italian on the top. And uh, here's some leftover fries for extras. I'm having uh, some of the leftover kale salad because that's one of my ideal dinners. So I don't feel like I'm missing out because I think I'm doing better. <laughs> I really love kale salad. I forgot to mention too, I got a beautiful uh, basil plant. Uh, it's like a hydroponic one. It's not one that you know you keep all the time. They just grow that for you to make like pesto or garnish or whatever. So, how is it? It's been so long. It's crazy. It looks really good if you like that. I and I know you do. That bread, though, I am addicted to that bread. Sean uh, saw me cutting it, and he came over, and we split a slice. It was so good. Even without butter, it's really good. I don't know what it is. I'm just, like, on this cardboard kick lately where I want to eat stuff plain. You know, like, that's why I got the shredded wheat, because I really want, like, that cardboardy, weedy taste. It's a disorder. <laughs> Okay. It's a good one, though. It's going to be eating rock soon. It's a good one. Chalk. No, that's something else. That's like that pika thing. Uh -huh. That's not that. No. It's called healthy. Alright, guys. We just finished the live show. And I want to thank all you guys who came out to the show tonight. It was super fun. I got to do the whole show with my husband. It was so much fun. I loved it. <sighs> So I got to spend most of the day with Mark today, which was really great. And um, I got to give a shout out to Hannah, who is going into the seventh grade and really missed Maddie tonight at the live show. We all missed Maddie, but we'll, we'll live. <laughs> 
And she doesn't want Maddie to leave anymore, which is a little bit unrealistic, but I'll let her know that you said that, Hannah. So I have got dessert on the table right now. I freaking love this table. It's like having a new table now that I uh, redid the top, so it's really smooth and everything. You could really, like, send the drink across the bar, you know, like, <laughs> like in those movies, the westerns. All right, so tonight I'm having a really healthy dessert. I'm having a big bowl of blueberries, which look awesome. Ugh, I hate when you get these little stems in here, though. That's the only thing that turns me off about blueberries is when they leave those little stems on there. Hate that. Ooh, that one tried to get away, but you won't get away, blueberry. Mm-mm. All right. Peak of perfection. Love it. I'm also going to have some 100% organic uh, unsweetened coconut flakes on top. So, I like a lot of those. Yeah. Sometimes I eat those like potato chips. Just really tasty. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> I'm obsessed with how slippery this table is right now. Alright, and then for an extra little treat. I'm going to have a couple of squares of this beautiful endangered species chocolate. Dark chocolate with sea salt and almonds. So beautiful. This is the one that they got me for Mother's Day. I would have some of my better than Russell Stover's. That doesn't seem like enough. Let me have another. Yeah, that's better. All right, perfect. Perfect. Um... I wish I had some of my better than Russell Stover's, but I didn't have time to make it today. But I probably will make it tomorrow, maybe, because I got my new, um, where, here they are, new little, um, mini cupcake liners, so. They're boring, though. I wish I had the ones that I had before that had the little design on them, but. They don't have those in the supermarket, although I swear that's where I got them. Maybe I got them at Target. I don't know. Have to see where I got those fancy ones from. I think it was, was Target. Have to look again. But I can make that now that I have my liners again. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you all. And, um, thank you so much for watching all the time it's awesome <laughs> everything is awesome all right so i'm gonna i'm just rambling i could go on like this for a straight hour but um i'm gonna eat my dessert i'm gonna kick back watch a couple videos nod off a little bit on my chair wake up and say oh my god how late is it <laughs> quickly brush my teeth and wash my face and get and uh, crawl into bed and call in a night what do you let me know what you guys are doing tonight leave it in the comments or what you did tonight and until next time I should take it to Sean <laughs> why don't you tell everybody thanks for coming out thanks for watching till next time much love All right. <laughs>